I'm Jenny Willott, I'm the MP for Cardiff Central in South Wales, but at the moment I'm here in Zambia, in Lusaka, and I'm working with VSO in the garden compound, which is the area I'm in now. And I'm volunteering for two weeks in an organisation called VK Home Based Care, which works with people who are HIV positive and suffering from TB. And I'm here to help them develop their advocacy and their campaigning capabilities. HIV AIDS in Zambia is a very big issue uh, because uh, the prevalence rate is still very high. 18% of the population in Zambia is HIV positive. The health system is not able to contain the challenges that HIV AIDS has brought about. So the home-based care providers come in as a very important component of HIV addressing care and uh, support in HIV AIDS. My experience as, a, as an MP means that I actually feel like I have skills that I can impart to VK which will hopefully really make a difference because it's something they haven't done up till now and I think that it's uh, the potential to make a difference through this particular area of work is really great, particularly since I think their local MP is potentially a really good ally and could be really helpful. So hopefully my visit here will make a real difference. I spent quite a lot of time in, in VK just get, trying to understand how the organisation works and what the, the problems are and what the issues are that people need tackling. It's been very interesting. I've, I've spent two days going around with caregivers to visit patients, which has been a real eye-opener for me. Uh, I've also met a lot of the caregivers and attended a support group meeting, which again, it's a lot of people who are, who are all HIV positive, who are living in the community and how they all rely on each other for support and get each other through the difficult times. And it's it's really been very inspiring to me seeing seeing what people do with very little. Ah, kwaona odwa la muzi, ni chini cha buino, kifuwa tita dzana zaumo yo. Eh, isepa mimi na punzi la kujamani, tia ni la kuta dzawa nzatu mchi muzi, muzi sungi ra, mo kali ra, kumamangua la, eh, osakala na mtu moja uti anizafa, koma kumkala na mtu mangu tini kama mamangua la nizapola. So in Chito ni abu no maningi. Um this is Catherine Banda who is um, a patient. She has TB and she's on TB drugs and she's HIV positive. Catherine's in the second phase, so she's starting to feel better, but she's got a really bad side effect from the TB drugs, so her legs are all swollen and she can't walk. And she has three children. Her mother has seven children, and Catherine's husband ran away when she got sick. So there are now three adults and ten children living in a hut that is the size of my living room. And there isn't even enough space for them all to sleep on the floor. It's uh, incredible that, they, that they're able to survive in this. So there are quite a few areas where VK would like to develop their work that need the MP to be on side and to support them. Well, we've had a meeting with the local Member of Parliament and talked to her about what the issues are that need to be tackled. And she seems very clued up. She's on the Health Committee in Parliament and she's very interested in HIV because it's such a big issue in her constituency. And she is also coming with me next week, plus uh, the uh, director of VK, Elsie, to go and meet the Minister of Health to talk about some of the issues that we need to get taken up at a higher level in government. Jenny, the skills she's going to live with us is that she's a very strong kind of advocate kind of person. I think she's very frank and then uh, we are going to learn on how to lobby uh, for resources or lobby for other partnerships. Jenny can help us um, to achieve that by meeting the minister and um, staff of the Ministry of Health so that uh, on behalf of VK she can talk about what she has seen about uh, what they're doing as um, the cares within the community. There's a lot we can learn in the UK from, from activity elsewhere. And I think it's really important for MPs to look at the bigger picture and look at what's going on elsewhere in the world and bring that to what we're thinking about and what we're working on in the UK.
I think short-term volunteering is very sustainable. It brings particular specific change and it builds particular skills within partner organizations, which uh, ensures that partners deliver better services to their target group and they get a focus in addressing um, the issues that they are working on. I think the idea of MPs being able to go and volunteer through the SO is really valuable. Not only because for, for us it gives us a great opportunity to look at the world in a new way and to, to learn a huge amount that we can take back to our constituencies and that will hopefully benefit the people living in our own areas. MPs have a huge range of different backgrounds and a huge amount of, of transferable skills and it's really good to be able to, to be given the opportunity to, to use those somewhere else in the world and to really make a difference. It's a very satisfying opportunity and I hope that lots more MPs after I, I've done this will take the opportunity to do the same.